Iran claimed to have successfully launched a long-range ballistic missile from a warship, underlining the regime's rising belligerence amid a regional crisis. Nowhere is safe for those powers who seek to threaten our security, IRGC Commander Hossein Salami said in a thinly veiled threat to the United States and its allies, suggesting that Iran's ocean liners can get within range of any target. Tasnim News released videos showing the launch of a missile from the deck of a vessel, however the type of the missile has not yet been verified. If true that a long-range ballistic missile was fired from a vessel, it would mark a significant moment. Since Iran has always maintained that its military posture is purely defensive, but boasting about warships appearing at any spot in the oceans with long-range missiles is not. So far, no images of a test has been revealed, and Iranian government media on Tuesday did not follow up on the claim. But Salami's statement shows the IRGC is pursuing some project the use ships as a launching pad for long-range missiles. In the last few years, Iran has moved from a largely subdued, albeit disgruntled, regional power to one constantly flexing its muscles and daring confrontation probably because it knows it will not get one. Far more worrying than an unverified missile launch, however, and far more telling in terms of Iran's growing belligerence is Iran's nuclear program. On Monday, not long before Salami claimed a new missile test, Iran's former head of atomic energy organizations signaled that his country was closer than ever to a nuclear nuclear weapon. Iranian officials have always insisted that the country's nuclear program is peaceful, but experts including the head of the UN nuclear watchdog, say enriching uranium to such levels as Iran has done, 60%, cannot be justified or even explained by peaceful intentions. A senior Iranian commander says the country is the absolute power in the air defense force sector in the West Asia region. It is an undeniable fact when we say that we are the absolute power of air defense in the region and have say in it in the world commander of the Iranian army's air defense force, Brigadier General Elariza Sabahifard said on Wednesday. He added that enemies are well aware that Iran is not dependent on any country and is in possession of equipment completely designed and manufactured by Iranian experts. He emphasized that the eight-year war imposed by Iraq on the country in the 1980s and an order by leader of the Islamic Revolution Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei on the need for the country to boost its power, all contributed to promotion of defense capabilities. Sabahi Fard reiterated that the Iranian Army's Air Defense Force is currently in its best condition to defend the country. Iran stands ready to target enemies and fire its missiles at them if deemed necessary, the senior commander said. In recent years, Iranian military experts and engineers have made remarkable breakthroughs in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient. Iranian officials have underscored that the country will not hesitate to strengthen its military capabilities, which are entirely meant for defense, and that Iran's defense capabilities will never be subject to negotiations. Leader of the Islamic Revolution Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei has on numerous occasions called for efforts to maintain and boost Iran's defense capabilities.